What's up guys, back with another video. And today's video is another episode of Today in Tech. This is where I bring you the latest news and technology. So let's go ahead and get started. Now first off, AT&T is offering new and existing customers $100 to add a new line to their account. Now AT&T and T-Mobile have been at war with each other. We're gonna see the benefit of that continuous ongoing battle. And one of the first benefits that we are seeing is that AT&T is offering $100 to add a new line to your existing account. Next up, Google and Samsung may finally agree on what Android should look like. Now reports are showing that Samsung might actually cut back on some of their over customizations on their Android skins that they apply to their Android devices. Reports are showing that Samsung and Google are currently working out an agreement for Samsung to start releasing devices that look more like a stock Google experience. And the next story is super hot and that is that Google sells Motorola Mobility to Lenovo for $2.9 billion. Now one thing to keep in mind is that the $2.9 billion is a mixture of cash and stock and also keep in mind that Google is keeping their patents and only selling Motorola Mobility themselves. So to break it down a little bit more, Lenovo will pay Google $660 million in cash and $750 million in stock, while the remaining $1.5 billion will be paid out throughout three years. Next up, Acer wearables are to arrive in 2014. Reports are showing that Acer is currently working on a smartwatch at the moment. Now there is a bunch of competitors in this genre that are still getting ready to compete, such as Google, as well as Apple. Now the Acer smartwatch was said to be demoed at CES 2014 to only a select few. Acer CEO says that they are definitely looking to play a role in the new wearable technology genre. Now the chairman for Acer has went on to state that he's looking to create more than a companion device and looking to create a standalone smartwatch type device. Next up, the signs are showing that Google is possibly showing more interest in wearables. Now, as far as we've seen, we've seen some successful products from Google, such as Google Glass, which in my opinion is one of the best wearables out to date. Now, Google has stated that they will be making a commercial availability launch of Google Glass in 2014, so I am looking forward to that as well. But they've also recently went on to state that they are looking to enter the smartwatch game. Now, Google is apparently thinking of actually buying a smartwatch company and already having a step up in the game. But me personally, I'm highly anticipating the public release of Google Glass, and I'm also highly anticipating Google Smartwatch. Next up, all you smartwatch fans, the Pebble App Store is set to hit iOS on Monday and Android shortly thereafter. The Pebble App Store will allow users to browse watch faces and apps directly through the Pebble app rather than having to seek them out through third-party sources. Pebble just recently released the Pebble Steel, and from what I've heard, it's been a complete success. Next up, AT&T launches new best ever family plans. So the way that AT&T is running this is that you need to have a 10 gigabyte plan option or higher, and then they're gonna offer $100 for 10 gigabytes of data, and $15 for every device that you add. So once again, guys, these new AT&T plans are live as of today. So if you are a current AT&T customer with a data package of 10 gigabytes or more, be sure to head over to AT&T today and see if you can lower your price on your bill.